New Tottenham Hotspur signing Richarlison has been given the number nine shirt and he has also just received a one-match ban. Tongi Ondombele has come out and said he just wants to be happy. Uh, it's here we go from Fabrizio Romano on the Steven Bergvine deal. He will join the Dutch side for 30 million euros and six fixture changes for Spurs during the months of August and September. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. An update has just been released by Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano on the Steven Bergvine situation. He has stated that Steven Bergvine will undergo medical tests on Wednesday and then sign as new IX player. €30 million Euro fee set to be received by Tottenham Hotspur, always been the price tag required by sporting director Fabio Prasci. Uh, official statement this week, huge one for Ajax. Here we go. Now, it looks like Tottenham Hotspur will be signing Clement Langley from Barcelona on a season-long loan, uh, deal to be confirmed by the club. Um, now, Fabrizio Romano has been talking to Give Me Sport about Tottenham Hotspur signing yet another centre-back. He said, I think it depends on opportunities for Spurs. Clement Langley is a loan deal, so it's a smart deal for Tottenham because they're not spending crazy money on the centre-back. On a player who has good experience, Antonio Conte wanted him, so it's a smart deal for Tottenham. Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Tongyon Dombele reported back to training at Hotspur Way uh, yesterday morning and he has been talking about whether he will be wearing a Tottenham Hotspur shirt again in the future under Antonio Conte. He said, I think it's possible to be happy at Tottenham. Regardless of where you go, you can be happy or unhappy. We will see how things go during pre-season. I'm not putting any more pressure on myself than that. He then went on to say it is rather complicated and personal at the same time, but what I want is to be happy, take pleasure in what I do, play, win, and that is all I want. Now, an official statement was released earlier by the Football Association and Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. It reads as follows. The Football Association have issued the following statement regarding Richarlison. An independent regularity commission has suspended Richarlison for one match and fined him £25,000 following a breach of FA Rule E3 that took place during a Premier League game on Sunday, the 1st of May 2022. The Tottenham Hotspur forward admitted that his conduct while playing for Everton during the 46th minute of the game against Chelsea was improper and his sanction was imposed during a subsequent hearing. Also on Richarlison, it was announced by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club today, he will wear the number nine shirt at Spurs. Now, earlier today, the Premier League and Tottenham Hotspur Football Club announced six fixture changes during the months of August and September 2022. The following games will now be live on TV. Uh, the Chelsea away game will now take place on Sunday, the 14th of August. Kickoff time will be 4.30. That one will be live on Sky Sports. The Wolves home game remains on Saturday, the 20th of August, but the kickoff time will now be 12.30 p.m., that one is live on BT Sport. The Nottingham Forest away game will now take place on Sunday, the 28th of August. Kickoff time at 4.30 p.m. That one is live on Sky Sports. The West Ham United away game will now take place on Wednesday, the 31st of August. Kickoff time at 7.45 p.m. That one will be live on BT Sport. The Manchester City away game remains on Saturday, the 10th of September, but the kickoff time is now 5.30 p.m. That one is live on Sky Sports. And lastly, the Leicester City home game, that one remains on Saturday, the 17th of September, but the kickoff time is now 5.30 p.m. That one is also live on Sky Sports. 
Now, my thoughts on all of these stories in this episode. Um, let's start with Richarlison being given a one-match ban. What a big shame. The reception that that guy would have got um, either starting the game or coming off the bench at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on the opening weekend would have been absolutely awesome. So we will just have to wait to see him in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt for the first time in the Premier League, Chelsea away. That one will be an interesting one. But, um, you know, also seeing Richarlison being given the number nine shirt, absolutely love it. Wish him all of the very best in his Tottenham Hotspur career. Cannot wait to see him play. Tonki on Dombele coming out and saying that he just wants to be happy. I tell you what, I think this is his last chance. I really do. If he can impress Antonio Conte in pre-season, who knows what can happen. Me personally, I just cannot see it happening. And uh, I can probably see... Um, a club coming in for him eventually during the summer transfer window and him going either off on loan or a permanent transfer. I just don't think the guy has it in him to work hard uh, like Antonio Conte wants and demands. Now, €30 million Euros for Steven Bergvine. Here we go from Fabrizio Romano. Of course, we were all expecting this deal to go through. It finally looks like it's going to happen and he will have his medical at Ajax in Holland tomorrow on Wednesday. Wish him all of the very best for the future, and I'm sure he will be a huge hit at Ajax. So that's the first player out of the door this summer. Steven Bergvine, 30 million euros. And in my opinion, that's good money for a player that didn't get much game time under Antonio Conte last season. Um, but the big question for me is uh, Spurs travel to South Korea. Uh, they get on that plane on Saturday. Um, who goes on that plane? That is the big question. Does Giovanni Lo Celso go on that plane? Does Tongi Ondombele get on that plane? Brian Hill, Joe Roden, Harry Winks. Um, you know, there are so many players. Um, it is being um, widely uh, speculated that a lot of these players will be sold this summer. Um, Tongi Ondombele, Giovanni Lo Celso, £100 million for them. Um, in the past couple of years, and they haven't quite worked out at Tottenham. Does Antonio Conte give that pair in particular? Those are the interesting ones for me. Does Antonio Conte give them to another chance? And uh, does he give them a chance to put them in the shop window? Or does he give them a chance to actually play in the Premier League for Spurs next season? Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.